So this is gonna be my first vlog of going out with the camera and shooting some landscape photography. So um, I hope you like it, because obviously you've been watching or hopefully you've watched some of my van build of Ice Cube. This is Ice Cube if you're new. Um, there are some vlogs and videos of the build and they're still going, but this is my landscape photography, what I absolutely love doing. Um, it's my job, landscape and architectural photography. And we've had loads of rain, loads of wind. It's autumn, but all the leaves, as you will see on the walk, have been blown off more or less. And, and then the ones that are still on there are still turning. So not brilliant for autumn colors, but there's loads of rain and there's a bit of a river that I'd like to photograph with, with the, um, with the amount of water flow. It's basically a recce. The conditions aren't right, but I thought, why not start there? So I haven't got any wellies at the moment because my last one's split, but it's absolutely been hammering down. There's proper wintry conditions out there. So I will be wearing my waders. So any fashion police, please don't judge. <laughs> So, like I said, this is my first vlog and I want to say hello. Hope everyone is all right and everyone is well. I've come to Fatherford Woods, which is on the outskirts of Oakhampton in Devon, um, literally on Dartmoor's doorstep. And this is part of Dartmoor. Like I said, it's been really wild wind-wise and weather. The rivers are quite running fast. They're not high, massively high, but they're running fast. So even though I've got my waders on, I think I'm going to be very ginger today about going near this or too deep into this river. said even though the conditions aren't brilliant there's a couple of spots I'd like to see what it looks like with this much water so there's two like mini cascades quite small cascades on this main river and then just up here there's a fork and there's like a smaller stream that will join this one and there's a beautiful beautiful scene up there and there's that little river or the little stream. I'll be really interested to see what it looks like with more water in it. But here today, in the main one, it's pretty good, pretty cool. So 
it very quickly. I'll go over my gear super quickly. I've got a Canon EOS R, a 24 to 105 RF lens, a 16 to 35 mil EF old school lens. And they're the only two lenses that I've brought today. I have an absolutely fantastic tripod, Leo photo tripod, super sturdy no matter what the wind. My old trusty f-stop bag i've had this many years as it's broken but it's just absolutely brilliant bag lee's filters which is a must for my architecture and the landscapes at the moment today i've got my polarizer i've only got a polarizer and a big stopper with those with the lees or any filters um, i will not need the big stopper at all a 10 stop filter today the polarizer will be enough to just give me that little bit of motion um yeah and that's it for camera wise i'm not sponsored at all for, with any of the companies um so that's just my recommendations that's what i use full time in my architecture and landscape photography so this is the clearing i love this part of aberford woods the clearing is just beautiful look at all these colors we've got a lovely stone wall that runs all the way up up the hill all the way and look at this oak tree look at that it is a phenomenal oak tree i've got a, a really nice shot here well i really like it um it's that kind of composition roughly ish uh panoramic and you've got the stone wall running all the way up out of sight and then this grand old funky oak um some rock moss covered rocks up there it's a really nice scene really nice scene um so this is the little river that goes down into the big river that i want to check out so let's go and see what it looks like portfolio shot by any means but I think it's quite a nice shot um, I'll give you a look at the back of the camera so we've got kind of you can see that so we've got a light and right I've got some nice ferns on the log here and then a nice leading line on the river up to a really nice kind of bright patch so I'll probably kind of keep this well as you can see on the camera this is all quite dark anyway and then it's brighter up there so i'm hoping the river will be a nice leading line i shot my settings on the shot are f 7.1 100 iso a quarter of a second and a quarter of a second if i try and show you there's real cool texture there's really there's enough texture in the white water it's not like milky milkshake just white so yeah it's it's not a bad shot it's not any by by any means a portfolio shot but yeah it's a nice shot to get
frustratingly, the sun's come out. Uh, I generally like shooting rivers when there's um, overcast, just even exposure. Or if there is sun, like behind really thin clouds, so it's really hazy, would be fine. But we have got full power sunshine now, as you can see by my face. Mm. So we've reached the first, well the second place, I wanted to check out the small one, but we've reached the first kind of quite a cool place in Farberford on the main river. I shall show you, it's pretty cool. The water is not flying down over this rock here, so obviously there's enough water for it to spill over that little bridge there. Well, it's a nice sea, it is a nice sea. It's going to be super slippery, I've got to be careful. Um, let's see if I can get a shot here. and see what I can get. going to be able to cross where I crossed um, when the river's like a normal flow it's just going to be too gnarly way too fast so I'm not unfortunately not going to be able to get the side I'd like to get for the waterfall so I'm not sure whether I'm going to get you can't even get a composition of it and um, like here you go look show you show you this, believe it or not, this is where I crossed in shoes, just rock hopping the other week, and I can't even see any of the rocks. Um, and then it, it goes around, and just over there is the actual waterfall. But there's no way I'm going to have to cross there. The path goes up there. So you could shoot from up there in, but there's just really heavy foliage there. So that's really disappointing that I can't get across. But let's go and have a little look at what, how it's flowing. 
to see what it looks like with this much water coming down it off. Oh, just filtered over the other over the edge of it. Um, let's have a look, ready? Oh. So that's the normal waterfall and then it's spilling over that side. But it's too much. Just looks like a torrent of water going across that won't photograph very well at all. So, oh well, it's nice to see. Good to see it, this, at uh, this flow. But it's quite nice. The flow's all the way up and around. But it's just unfortunate all these trees and foliage kind of getting, getting away of the composition. I hope you can hear me because it's really loud. Um, the water flow today. I shall see on the computer. Plastic, is a plastic coated Steve. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. I shall now put some images on from today. You've probably seen some already, but I'll put some more on what I've shot today, and then I'll put some on of what I've shot here in the past. So I think I've got some quite nice shots over the years of coming to this location. So I hope you've enjoyed my vlog of landscape photography, my first one, and being taken around Fatherford, beautiful woodlands on Dartmoor. Please feel free to subscribe, comment, um, it'll really help my channel. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it and see you soon. So, so I'm making my way back to Ice Cube. The sun is out, we've got blue skies, so I'm calling it a day on this little photo shoot. I hope you've enjoyed it.